manufactured by the twin disc company. The important thing to remember with a multi-stage converter is that the path of oil from the impeller back to the impeller strikes the turbine multiple times. So this is just the general overall view of the actual torque converter and then we'll take it apart and I'll actually show you the working elements inside the torque converter. taking the actual pump off. Okay, I'm not sure how that's going. Okay, so here's the inside of our torque converter. This red component in the middle, this is the actual impeller. It is driven by the engine flywheel. The yellow part that you can just see the top of, that is our turbine. Oil is going to enter into the center of the impeller, go through these holes. This is rotating. It's going to rotate inside the turbine independently, and they're not actually connected together. There's the impeller then. As it spins, it flings the oil off the outside edge. The impeller comes out through centrifugal force, comes off the outer edge of the blades of the impeller. That oil then strikes this first set of turbine blades. So this yellow component is our turbine. The oil is going to go through this first set of blades to the outside. It hits the concave side of the housing. I'll just lift this turbine out of here. Oil comes through the turbine, hits this first set of stator blades. The job of the stator is to redirect the oil. The oil comes out on this side of the stator. Now then, hits the concave side of the wall and is redirected to this set of blades on the turbine. From this set of blades, the oil is directed to a, a second stator goes through the second stator to the inside here and at that point it hits a third set of turbine blades right here and that set of blades redirects the oil back here into the center of the impeller again. So the oil in the last stage of the turbine comes out this area here and that brings it right back into the center of the impeller where this is being turned by the engine 
and then the process begins once again where the oil that comes in here is thrown to the outside circumference of the impeller and starts the cycle again going through the turbine. This turbine is one physical wheel, but it has three separate elements or three separate sets of blades. So I have one set here, I have a second set here, and I have a third set in here. So my path of oil flow then travels from the impeller to the turbine, to a fixed stator, to a second set of turbine blades, to a second fixed stator, to a third set of turbine blades, and then it returns back to the impeller. That's our path of oil flow, and the oil actually hits the turbine three times. That makes this converter a three-stage converter. All multi-stage converters have fixed stators, so they do the converter phase really well. They don't do the coupling phase or rotary flow very well. Multi-stage converters, in this particular case, does not have a lockup feature either. So it does converter flow or vortex flow very well. It doesn't do rotary flow or the coupling phase very well, and it does not have a lockup phase. Where most torque converters run a ratio of somewhere probably around 1.75 to 2.1 for on-road on applications, probably upwards to close to three for off-road applications, this converter actually does a five to one ratio.